All right, Ray, get me out of here. It's raining and I want to go home. It's part 22 of Ghostbusters. Look up there. It's getting worse. I don't know. It looks like a really nice Photoshop this painting. This is the Central Park I'm used to. You still have your wallet? <laughs> Jeez, Egon. But uh, we are in the crazy Central Park, which has been turned into a cemetery. Some people would say Central Park was already a cemetery. I tell them not so much. But <clears throat> but no, particularly in this particular part, since I'm really not going to do anything. As you can see, I'm I'm shooting shovels at this point. I figure I'd do some more digging. Uh, not necessarily digging in the matter of um, trying to look up juicy information, but just trying to look up. Uh, different things to talk about you know relative to the game and might as well talk about the development hell well all games have development hell but this one had a big had a bit of um you know not really hype but a little not controversy either just something something else to it so I believe it was 2006 to 2007 uh, the company Zootfly, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm reading it right, Zootfly. That means one of two things. Either we're in trouble or we're dinner. Is there a difference? Or hey, that... We have a test of proton packs in the rain. That's what the recruit is doing right now. Great! Wait a minute. I'm wearing one too. That's true. How's it going so far? Do you smell any burning or experience any painful tingling? You'll be the first one to know. Or the second the third you would think as many times as they've worn these things and how many times you know they had marshmallows on them slime ectoplasmic residues all that stuff on there you think it you know those packs would already have gone through that kind of testing but that's just me but no while, while I sit here and uh, get rid of these uh I guess flyers. Essentially, this part uh, caskets, caskets jump out of the caskets. they jump out of the ground. Uh, you can you the can ground. shoot them before they land, which you don't have to fight the person. But I mean, the we have to deal with these. they're really not that hard to deal with. And we have Fetzel over here that we have to deal with too. But like most of the other monsters, it's just a meson collider. You know, use the pulse to track it and then the collider to get afterwards. And also too with that the the collider actually goes through ghosts. Well oh, thank you. Yeah, I scanned them. And it's now the time to trap them. Oh, I just hit that. It's time to trap them. that thing on top of but no like I was saying the company Zoot Fruit Zoot Fly they had made a like early build of the game or not of this particular game but they were independently uh, making a Ghostbusters game now Zoot Fly is a relatively small company and somehow the, the, their footage got out. Uh, I will spend a minute or two to talk about that footage and what I think about it. But, you know, hype got around the game and, you know, they were developing, you know, for legal reasons, they effectively had to stop because people, you know, other comp you know, another company had rights to Ghostbusters, well, the, a Ghostbusters game, and they weren't the ones. And also, too, they were using, uh, you know, sound bits from Bill Murray without having any kind of uh, permission from him. Not that they use likeness or anything, but you can't use someone's voice without that permission.
And effectively, I mean, they didn't use like the Ghostbusters on them, okay? but just, you know, for legal reasons, they couldn't. They had to stop and. On the right! And around that time, also, uh, Terminal Reality was making a Ghostbusters game. They were very small about it, very subtle, but. You know, not really hype, but news about them making that game and that footage releasing got a lot of people excited about a Ghostbusters game. So, Terminal Reality really had to, they really had to put the best foot forward. And then about a, you know, I'd say about a year, year and a half later, we get this game. Now, <clears throat> I'll give my final thoughts on the game once I finish it. But in terms of I know I see him. Not really missing anything. Just these big fatty, fatty fat guys that we've already fought. Just keep some distance between you and him. You can kind of constantly just back up and try to get him right there. And just fire away. Now I don't want to get But yeah, they released the footage and afterwards, because I was looking for footage of that, of that also too, of that also too, I was looking for footage, thoroughly footage from that, and uh, Sony had effectively, you know, removed or had all the videos of that game on YouTube. I'm not sure if you can find them or not, if someone can, just see me link to it. It's uh, very, very different from the Ghostbusters that we see here. I think, you know, them doing that actually made Terminal Reality kind of set their game up instead of just bringing out a shitty game. Like, mo like most movie, like most movie-centric tie-ins go. I'm talking about Batman because Batman is yes he's he's had his movies in, but he's mainly from comics. So and even in his movie realm, people would say he doesn't have the best. Well, his average has gone up, but you know prior to Batman Begins, he really didn't have the best track record in terms of movies, and he's just now coming around with games with Arkham Asylum. Origins, City, you know, he's just now coming around to having really good games. And he's kind of DC's strong point, but I'll, I'll save that for a Batman game uh, down the road. But, but no, that footage really had to, you know, Terminal Reality had to make sure they put their best foot forward making this game. Granted, uh, making this game, kind, uh, not really, kind of, put Atari out of business. And now Atari had a lot more problems than just funded for the Ghostbusters game but this was one of the last games they made I'm not sure if it, it I'm not sure if it was the last but I know it's like one of the last couple games they ended up playing as I'm stuck looking where the hell to go but in terms of that early footage it's very drastically different and then I mean uh, like some of the animation and things like that were it was uh, I, I give it to them they had a look of Ghostbusters but more of you know it's not officially Ghostbusters kind of thing with the uh, backpack looking all I don't want to say looking all weird but you know the ba the proton pack that we have in this one looks fairly similar to the one that we see in the movies and if anything I would say like the prototype gameplay is more on the lines of extreme Ghostbusters where it's different it's not radically different but it's different from its contemporary kind of setting that the movies had already put together you know what I mean I think they changed the Ecto-1 to like a uh, Ford Dodger, you know, which I, I don't know. Ecto-1 should always kind of be that car. So. But it's nice that they, ch I mean, it is nice that they changed some stuff. They changed some stuff around. 
uh, the footage I remember looking at really didn't have any kind of like any of this catching ghost ability, which, yeah, yeah, Ray, right, block with your face. <laughs> he just took that like a champ. It definitely didn't have like, oh, you're gonna pick me up, right? Yeah, thanks, after I get hit. And again, I mean, this particular part here, just make sure that you keep Ray alive because it's kind of tricky. Uh, the ghosts themselves aren't really, just watch out for their flying uh, purple projectiles. Say that three times so fast. Flying purple projectiles. Purple projectiles. But, um, mm -hmm. they're not really that tough. That's why I decided in this particular part to talk about other stuff. You know, and you know, you never, you never, you never, I'm making retarded sounds now. But, um, you know, maybe some of those people went to terminal reality, you know, because they need a job too. But the whole catching ghosts particular thing, and I mean, in the gameplay footage, it was only like, you know, you, the player, walking around what seemed to be like a mediocrely empty New York City. They had the dash button, which kind of mirrored Gears of War with the whole kind of, the camera would zoom down closer to your leg kind of thing as you run. But yeah, that, it didn't really put together any kind of uh, catching ghosts. I think the only thing you got actually just kind of shot the ghost. You know, it wrapped around them and things like that. but. They didn't have all like the crazy effects of terminal realities or you know, any of the lights and stuff, which they couldn't at the time. And also too, not to say that they were like independently making the game, they could have just put a prototype together and you know, took it to whomever had the license just to show it. But I think he got, I think, this Fatty McFatson got stuck. I think he got stuck. Give it to him. I'll try. And that takes a bit of luck too. You know, this will help us out too because if he was walking around hitting us and killing people and things like that, that would have been very hectic on, on me trying to outmaneuver him and still trying to get around. So. Well, hello there. Ray, you guys all right? Thanks for joining the party. They're throwing everything they have at us to stop us from getting to that mausoleum. That's as far as I can go. You guys got a clear path for me. Ray, readings here are extremely unstable. Energy from Mandala and the escaped ghost is building up to a flashpoint. We don't have much time. Operation Flashpoint. I like that game. And here is another part of the game where they don't necessarily explain to you what you're supposed to do, which is not necessarily a downfall of the game. It's just this particular part, I completely found it on accident. And, uh, well, kind of hitting him. Well, uh, I'll see you guys when I get back to. All right, I'm back. I found lost my way on what the hell I was actually supposed to do I still am kind of lost look at me I'm going through here and then hey got rid of the skull and that skull put that weight down yeah, that's good. Thanks. Hold it on. that ghost world has to be like the most confusing thing ever <laughs> it's it's just it's very confusing you don't tell anybody What's anything we don't have a lot of choice we don't, we could like just hop over that and meet them where we're supposed to go, but then we don't build character. So, we don't build character. This kind of dark hallway here just looks very familiar and very ominous. I hope, hopefully that thing doesn't crush me or anything like that. I wonder if a boulder will come out here. Maybe you can punch it. 
graves pushing up through here really did a number on this place. Walter Pack is going to have a lot to answer to from the city parks department. If we can prevent the apocalypse, that is. Well, if you prevent it, then we don't have to worry about it now, do we? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, these little barriers here, they're just not really big to I mean, clearly you can't walk through them because we're not ghosts. Thanks for getting in the rave, way Peter. See what's here. Uh, I will. And it looks like treasure. And uh, get rid of these kind of monkey. No, they're not, they're not even monkeys. Little doggy two head thingies. I don't know why he's. Slime is effective against me. I'm not sure on how the AI. There's really no real AI in, involved in this game. He just kind of does what he does. They sometimes get stuck on things. You guys seen throughout this entire playthrough how you know wonky they can be sometimes. And no clip. No clear defined way of how damage is handled or what kind. So. The method here is pretty much to back up and again bullzone darts because bullzone darts have the kind of spread damage. You know? Could be trouble. It could be, but we're not I'm not even worried about it. I'll let you do it. You're not dead. I should have to take that back. If you scan the ghosts, uh, the AI Ghostbusters will just pick whatever. I didn't clear it out. I thought it was a good show. But the computer AI will just use whatever weakness it has or weakness the ghost has. And it'll figure it out. I don't believe by getting every entry in the Tobin Spirit Guide will allow you to get an achievement or something. The achievements in this game, I think they're really ridiculous. You know, you just have to be aware of things as we pick up this oogie boogie mask or whatnot. But like I was saying, like about the uh, prototype earlier. It's a very kind of different. I mean, we don't. I mean, you know, we can only go off what ifs now. But, uh. Obviously, the prototype had, you know, it had to be good enough for people to go, hey, there's a Ghostbusters game coming out. I hope they get everybody. I'm going to get that game or whatnot. Or have you, have, have you seen it kind of thing? So you never know. Maybe those people got really good jobs or something someplace else. You know, we don't know. I will say that between this and that, this and that, that gameplay, this has a better. Um, it's a lot more contemporary. And granted, you know, now I say that as we're shooting those on dirt at tombstones with heads, but in the middle of a. Cemetery, you know, transform Central Park there. into a cemetery. Let's head back to the surface. I'm not sure, but still kind of believable. Is you know. new guy. We've tried everything. This metal is psychonically charged, rendering it effectively indestructible. Mm -hmm. Well, in such an extreme situation, I suppose it's possible to cause it harm, but I don't think anything we have is going to make a dent in it. Well, then what's our plan? Ray, you two check out that side. I think I'm picking up something odd here. What's your take on this? An indestructible gate attached to a damaged frame. A few concussive hits and the hinges might just break loose. I need to think about this uh, any other time. 12 o'clock high. Wow. Too well protected. Our energy streams aren't going to hurt them. The only real, the only, the only real new enemies are these guys here. 
which are kind of like these cupid stone ghost kind of guys which um they're kind of crazy looking you know they're just crazy looking well i gotta worry about keeping you alive ray but as the as this uh suggests you can uh, just as the gargoyles where you can use the capture stream to slam them without having to you know to trap them you can use you can use them to kind of uh where is out display it you can use them to slam up against the the gate here Now granted, it's a lot easier to grab one and just kind of just slam it. Just kind of slam it up against, or if they're flying over, that seems relatively easy. How about some slime, tethering? slime, shut up, Winston. Uh, the, the slime tavern, I'm not going to lie, the slime tavern is probably the hardest part to do because these... Cupid stone things are so small and so tiny and they move around so fast that slime tavern them could just be just a giant hassle. So I don't even worry about it. Just keep using your capture stream and just keep slamming it up against. I don't know who that was, but that's Thanks crazy. for joining the party. I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close to Egon to another part. See you guys.